Hi there, I'm Pat McGrew. This is Print Sample TV Live from the show floor at Printing United 2019. This time, I'm here in the Chili Publish booth. And this is the place you want to be stopping by if you're here at the show. If you aren't quite sure how the miracle of design happens, and then what you do with that design, how you control that design, how you make sure that all of the brand assets are managed correctly. If you need a tool that's going to help you take all this great design and make sure that it's sized appropriately and managed appropriately for all the different kinds of assets that you produce, these are the guys to come talk to. So this is the perfect place to be walking you through a whole bunch of assets that we picked up here on the show floor. And even if you're not here at Printing in United, if you're watching this video later, I think you're going to get a lot out of the things that we found on the floor. And you'll understand why having a great product like a chili published behind you is going to be something that makes your life easier. Because we talk to brand people all the time and we talk to packaging producers and label producers all the time that simply don't know how to make the miracle of workflow happen. So this is where you can get that help. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to walk through a bunch of print samples. But the first thing I'm going to hold up are these two things. You might say, why am I holding two flashlights? The reason I'm holding two flashlights is because they actually are different uh, frequency lights and they actually behave differently. So we're going to be looking at some print samples where these play into the story. And the thing to remember is if you are going to be looking at doing security work, which a lot of people do here, what you're going to want to make sure of is that you've got the right light and you're looking at the right frequencies. So we're going to start here with these two pieces, which are kind of interesting. And I'm going to set them right here. I'm going to hold this one up first. This is the cup. And we're going to look at this label, right? And so my willing assistant is going to get good video with this. So these were both pr pr uh, printed by Zycon. The reason I am mentioning this is because Zycon brought a really strong story to Printing United. Not only really great labels that include security elements, but they also brought a really great story about digitally printing paper cups. And you just think about how many cups we go through in a given week, month, year. It's a lot of paper cups. This should be a branding opportunity for everybody. So we think this is a great technology that you should take a look at. And this is the kind of print sample that I can actually drink out of, which is kind of cool. So nice print sample, nice use of technology. So the next thing we're going to look at is some print samples that were actually brought to us by our friends at Konica Minolta. And I, the reason I think that these are so fabulous is because they are showing off some of the brand new Konica Minolta technology. And if you kind of, I'm going to kind of wiggle this a little bit so you can kind of see, there's a lot of layers. This is using some of their great MGI technology. And they actually worked with the Printing United folks for, to create a document that covers the Printing United Experience Zone. And this is where any attendee can go and actually touch and feel samples from a whole lot of different vendors. So no matter whether you're looking for labels or you're looking for flex pack or you're looking for signage, boxes, whatever you're looking for, there is a story for you in the experience zone. And in fact, every page in here tells a little story about one of the vendors who's in here. And they also tell you how every one of the print samples was actually made. And that just makes it brilliant. We love when print shows go to the effort to actually get their partners to explain how all the things that are going on to the on, on the shop floor or in the print, uh, print event floor actually got made. So kudos to Konica Minolta for bringing some great technology and showing some of the really cool things that uh, you can do with texture and, and elevated print. Um, one of the folks in their booth said that it's, it's print you want to touch, and they are absolutely right. It is print I certainly want to touch. It is absolutely brilliant. Now, tomorrow we're going to talk about some other Konica Minolta technology, but for the moment, we're going to move on because there was a lot that we picked up here. So the next things that I picked up 
are from our friends at Screen. And the reason I love the folks at Screen is because they bring multiple technologies and it's everything from things that print high definition. Uh, they call these pages painted. And it's because they are so graphically rich and so saturated. So the, the L350 UV Plus press that did this prints just some of the most amazingly painted pages you're going to see. And the nice thing that they did with this piece that looks very much like a graphic novel is that they also tell you the story of how it was done and how the press enables this piece. So I'm in love with it. I'm in love with the graphics that they picked and the painted images that they went after. So if you are in any end of the graphic arts market, whether you are printing labels or you're printing, or, or rather you're printing uh, brochures, you're printing direct mail marketing, you're printing posters, this is a great machine to take a look at. Now also in the screen booth, they have another machine which uses their inkjet technology. and. This one is for the less painted pieces. This one is much more oriented towards uh, the sort of typical um, kids book. Maybe you might do it as a personalized kids book. It's just nicely done and what I love about it is it's on this great glossy paper, which I think you can sort of kind of see in the, in the images because it sort of flexes a little bit. Screen technology always impresses me because they've not only conquered uh, this kind of piece, but they've also conquered things like, well, labels. So I'm going to move these for a second. So there are two different label sets here. Oops, sorry about that. Labels here. And again, these labels give you a great idea. They're, they're really beautifully printed. They've got embossing on them. They can be security protected and they can be protected with nanographic ink. So we're going to now switch vendors, um, kind of, because the, our friends at Screen are users of a technology from a company called Diversified Nano. Diversified Nano does some really amazing things. They have created a range of inks that let you add security into your documents via the ink, which I really, really love. And this is why I have the second one of these cute little flashlights, because this is how you, it comes up. It needs the, the right reflection, and you can see that it is embedded. They have inks that can include biomarkers for security. They have inks that can include uh, AR tagants that cause augmented reality to trigger, and they have uh, fluorescing inks like you see here. And what I love about Diversified Nano is that their ink, it's inkjet ink, and it's really designed to work with pretty much anybody's printer, but the folks at Screen jumped in with both feet and really took it to town. So the demo that they're showing in the Screen booth and also over in the Diversified Nano booth is all about how to use these high-tech inks to create high security printing. Now, it doesn't just work for things like checks and tickets and, and other types of, of secure documents. This can be used for secure packaging as well. And the other, the last thing I want to show is a piece that they just come out with, which uses their Inkcrypt technology. So this looks like any kind of gift card that you might receive. On the back, it has this red dot. And when you press this red dot, when the, the right set of circumstances happens, it will make this number appear. We've pressed it too many times, so the number appeared automatically anyway. But this is the kind of technology, if you're printing gift cards, which a lot of people here at, at Printing United do, this is something you could look at to make them even more secure than they usually are. So we love seeing really cool innovations in technology, and that is what we are seeing from Diversified Nano. Okay, so we've taken a fast run through Diversified Nano uh, with uh, Screen. We've looked at Konica and Minolta. Um, we've looked at a, a lot of interesting fluorescing things. So I want to show a couple of things from Xerox. Xerox is here with uh, one of their devices that does a really great job of showing off some of the power of commercial printing. They were also at another show a couple of weeks ago. 
introduced some new technology that they're also showing the output from here. So these are the kinds of things that we hear that commercial printers want to do all the time. They want to print white ink on black substrate. So this one is done using what is called their Shine Digital 107. Um, it's a 107 pound cover stock and it's done with an iGen and it is brilliant. This is something that designers love and we were just so thrilled to see it. And actually Xerox in their infinite wisdom, this not only is available on their uh, iGen type models, but it's also available on some of their light mid-production models. So even an office printer can be doing this kind of work. The other thing that they have is they've got this great iridescing and fluorescing um, technology that they're using. This is also done on an iGen 5 with their CYMK Plus Orange. And this is on a sappy stock and it just, it is so cool and you can use it for all sorts of interesting things. So what I want you to think about is as you're developing print samples to talk to your clients, to the brands that you serve, look for these kinds of technologies because if brands know about them, they'll pay a premium to buy them because these are things that help them differentiate their products. And this last one I want to show is if you do any kind of security work, and this it's really not coming up well, but if you do any kind of security work, you can add clear toners that fluoresce as well in the Xerox environment. So just take a look at everything that's possible. Think about the customers you serve. Okay, we're down to the last two pieces, and you're really going to love them because I really, really love them. So the first really cool piece is a box. Yes, it is a box. It is a box uh, for sushi takeaway. All right, so why do we care about a box? This is a digitally printed box. This is printed on a device that just about everybody can afford. Uh, this comes from our friends at Konica and Minolta. It is from their PKG 675i digital press. It has a great footprint. Now, remember, if you're going to get into this business, you're going to have to be able to manage these assets. So if you're going to be managing these assets, remember to talk to our friends at Chile. But if you want to print really cool, so this is actually corrugated box, and I'll take it apart so you can see what it looked like in its infancy. So notice that it's actually printed on both sides. This is a substrate that you buy that is gloss on one side and craft on the inside. And the 675i does a brilliant job and it's durable, right? You can't scratch it off. And that's what you want for these kinds of boxes. And the nice thing about the, the KM product, again, the, the footprint of the press is really, really very nice. And look at how nicely it does that sushi. I mean, don't you just want to eat it? I do. So that we think is a really cool technology. Now, we are at Printing United, so I'm gonna take this away and we're gonna go to this guy right here. So one of the things about coming to a, a show like Printing United is that it has traditionally been a signing graphic show. And so everywhere you walk in this hall, there are these massive banners and just amazing large format and grand format pieces. So it's kind of hard to bring them into the print sample TV frame, but I did grab from our friends at EFI a piece that was done on the ViewTech, which is a very nice piece of equipment. So this thing, it, what I loved about it is they had a reference print, one that was supplied by the customer, the original reference print, and then they printed it on the ViewTech and they laid them side by side. And to be honest, to my eye, and I've been running around the printing world for you know over 30 years, I found it amazingly identical, beyond sellable. So everywhere I walked at this show, there was this amazing uptick in the level of technology, the level of print quality, the speed that people can print, and the workflows that support them. And I'm delighted to see so many workflow companies here. So this has been today's edition of Print Sample TV Live from Printing United, from the Chile Publish booth, live somewhere in the 11,000 aisle. Um, I'm Pat McGrew. 
I am delighted to be your host for Prince Sample TV Live, and I hope you'll come back tomorrow when we do it again from the Solomar booth here live at Print Team United in Dallas, Texas, the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center. Thanks very much.